Hello and welcome to Safe Secure Surfing's IP location test for NordVPN. In this video we're going to be reviewing the IP location that NordVPN broadcasts. So when I pick a server location, say in the United States, I want to make sure that it's choosing the same location and it's broadcasting from all the same locations. So we're, we're showing consistency that way. So for example, if I choose a place in uh, Delaware, let's say, that all of the servers and all of the IP locations from different websites are pointing to the same same location in Delaware. So we're going to proceed here. We're going to take a look at some different locations throughout the globe and server locations that NordVPN offers and we'll see how well, they, uh, how well this stacks up. So let's move on with that. Okay, so here we are at IPLocation.net. IPLocation.net is the website that I use to see how well, how consistent the server location is being broadcast. So I went and I started up NordVPN and I picked the European country. I went with a country in the Balkans, Albania. And we're just going to take a quick look and see how that's, if it's broadcasting from all the five websites that are available on this, on this, uh, on IPLocation.net. So we'll just give a quick overview of IPLocation.net. The very top here in this area, it shows our public IP address. If you have an IP location that you'd like to know where it is and you have the IP, you can look it up and in this spot here. And then we have five different websites that we actually use here that this aggregate site uses. So we've got the first one is IP2 location, the second one is IPinfo.io, the third one is Eureka API, the fourth one is DB-IP, and the fifth one is MaxMind. So once again, this site is just a web or is a, an aggregate website, and it's taken a look at all of those. So we'll start with the first few on the list here. So we'll start with IP2 location, IPinfo.io, Eureka API, and uh, DB-IP. And we can see that they're broadcasting here all from Albania. So the first one here is shown from Albania, second, third, and fourth one. And then as we scroll down a little bit, we can see the same thing here. So for all five location or for all five websites, this server is broadcasting from Albania. So that's consistent. That's what we like to see. So now I'm going to slide over to NordVPN. And NordVPN's for me is located there is their icon is located down here so if we just click on it and we can pick some different locations as well so we'll disconnect first from Albania and then I think I'm gonna move a little east here so I think we'll go over to somewhere in Asia so let's pick pick a country in Asia we'll see what comes up here so let's go with India so India is right here so we'll just select this one here we have a couple of different choices here so we'll just go with India number three we'll pick the first one here then we'll go connect now. So as you can see, it's really quite quite easy to move around NordVPN to select different servers if you have different reasons for for wanting to to change server countries or things like that. So we'll now head back over to now that it's been connected. We'll now head back over to IPLocation.net and we'll refresh it and see how it uh, how it's doing. Okay, so it's just in the process of uh, refreshing here. Once everything gets reloaded back up here, we'll take a look we'll see the consistency with which this server is broadcasting. Okay, so IPLocation.net has reloaded and we've refreshed it with here, so we're now using an Indian uh, server. So let's check our five websites and see how consistent the server is broadcasting from here. So we've got the five different websites. We'll start with IP2, IP2 location and it's showing India. Uh, IPinfo.io is showing India. Eureka API is showing India. DB Dash IP is showing India, and MaxMind is showing India. So we're seeing consistency across the, across the board there. Okay, so we're continuing to move around the uh, around the globe here. We were last in India. I've now selected Australia, and I did it in the same fashion as I did as I showed with uh, when I selected India. So we'll take a look and we'll see how well Australia's servers are showing for consistency here. So once again, we've got the five websites. The first one is showing Australia, second one is showing Australia, third one is showing Australia. We have some difference here, though. The fourth one is showing uh, broadcasting from the United Kingdom, and then the fifth one is showing from Australia. So we've got a little bit of inconsistency there. Most of them are showing broadcasting from Australia, but with this one, we, we are showing that it's broadcasting from the UK. So we'll carry on over, and we'll go over to someplace in North America, either the States or Canada, and we'll see what uh, see what this looks like for us. So I moved across the globe from Australia and I've landed over in Canada. So we're going to check the uh, servers here in Canada and see how they see how they rank for consistency. So once again, we're using IPLocation.net. We'll just scroll down the page here, take a look at our five servers. First one is showing Canada, the second one is showing Canada, the third one showing Canada, the fourth one showing Canada, and the fifth one showing Canada. And so we've kind of done four different regions of the globe. We hit North America, we hit Oceania, 
we hit uh, Asia, and we've hit Europe. So with that, we're showing three of the four servers that we selected were showing consistency, and then the fourth one in Australia was showing a split between four of them were showing Australia, and the fifth one was showing the UK. So that wraps up our review. If you have any thoughts or questions, please feel free to leave them down in the comment section below. We wish you a fantastic day. Thanks so much.